179. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. Alleluia. Suffer to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. So welcome to this beautiful celebration. Today, we celebrate this Mass, continue to pray for ourselves, for our families, for our country today, especially to pray for the intention of this Mass, Richard Boker, Mr. and Mrs. Frank Cole, Sister Ro Rosaline Boydowin, and also Mr. and Mrs. Busta Wolnin. We ask the Lord to continue to help us to be courageous, be bold, like the apostles after they seen and experienced the risen Lord to proclaim the gospel, the good news, not just for our friends and families, but also to those who haven't heard the Jesus Christ. And so this moment we ask the Lord to purify our souls and our minds and our spirit. Lord Jesus, you come to save us from all sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you come to die for us. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to resurrect and to save us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Together we say, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to the people We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We praise you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, on the Son, the Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You take the sin right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts, and the homage of their deeds to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the Word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them, 
in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, you children of Israel, why are you so amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses, and by faith in his name. This man, whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he has announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, a prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, you are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, in your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his serpent and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with the glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O oh Lord, how, how wonderful your work. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beast of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the path of the seas. O oh Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 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 
This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to realize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, He asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Please be seated. You are the witness of these things. Just wondering, how do we witness? How do we witness the Lord, the risen Lord? Yesterday, I had a the Zoom, the Gospels of Hope, and there was a question. The question is. Are we blessed because we haven't seen the Lord? Because yesterday there was a phrase that blessed are those who not seen the Lord but believe. Now, are we belonging to the group of seen the Lord or not seen the Lord? I think we are so blessed because we seen the Lord not in one gospel but in four Gospels. We've seen the Lord from four dimensions, if you will, from Matthew Gospel, Mark Gospel, Luke Gospel, and John Gospel. And we not just listen to these Gospels once, we listen all over and over and over. We, We know Jesus from inside out. But how do we witness this Jesus? While we pray in the, the Eucharist adoration today, uh, the, the opening prayer from St. Alphonsus, it gave me some ideas. There's a beautiful phrase in there and say that Jesus waiting for us in the sacrament. Jesus welcoming us that we come to visit him. And then the purposes of us when we come to sacrament is to thank him and even to say I'm sorry for offended you and then promise that we will adore you wherever in the world these days somehow the people in this neighborhood at least is in my heart I can't sit here I can't just sit here and wait for them 
And I want to challenge you as challenge myself. How can we become the presence of Christ, the reason, Lord, in our neighborhood? How can we see the presence, Lord, in our neighborhood? And so when we come and knock on their doors, we say, like we say, this, the Jesus in the, in the present here, in the sacrament, that I'm sorry that you're waiting so long for us. Waiting with compassion and with patience. Have you ever thought about it? Our neighbors, they didn't come here because they waiting for us at home. You know, a lot of times that we Catholics, we, we force them to go to church. <laughs> we ask them to come here. That is beautiful to do that. But have we ever thought that we should come to their home? They are waiting for us at home, patiently and compassionately. They're waiting for us. We need to bring the presence of Christ to them. And hopefully we recognize their presence at the presence of Christ. If we can do that, my brothers and sisters, this world is no longer the same. Two meet together. And so today, don't be afraid to meet our neighbors, our stranger that we haven't met yet with the presence, with the conviction, with the witnesses of Christ. Because I believe if you are and I come in here to listen to the word of God, especially to witness the resurrection like the apostles witnessed, we cannot be the same. Our heart burn with, with that joy. Our heart, we just recognize the presence of God in everywhere even to die as a martyr. And so today, congratulations to us. If we hear the word of God today, if we see the Eucharist, it's just right in front of us. Let us go out and meet our neighbors, those still live in fear because they haven't seen the reason, Lord. Let us just stand and ask the Lord to hear our prayers. We pray for our church today that the church of the resurrection, the church of friendship, the church of, of mercy, the church of forgiveness, continue to heal the world with this, with gifts of the resurrection of our Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our neighborhood here. Catholics and non-Catholic, Christian and non-Christian, that we continue to look at each other in the eyes with the presence, Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for vocations today, especially today I will meet a, a prospect, Cody from Mississippi, that, that young people willing to step up, listen to the voice of God and the call of the Lord, and be able to respond generously. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. What else shall we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer.
Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intention of this Mass and all the intentions that are asking us to pray for this day. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness, we have received the bread to offer you, food of the earth and broken human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness, we have received this wine to offer you food of the vine and work in human hands. It will become for us the spirit to drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more closely, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restore our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together in ending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy that for this gift we pray. By sending down your spirit upon him like a dewfall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially those we mentioned in this Mass. 
who have fallen asleep and hope the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That will the blessed Virgin, very Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, St. Jared, and all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command and form by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Wow. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
communion into form. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just a reminder tomorrow we don't have student mass, but regular mass. So. Please come and bring your families, friends, and remind people that this is a great time to enjoy. We have feeding of the poor tomorrow as well, Mama Siva. Feeding the poor tomorrow? Not, not tomorrow, this is the occasion of tomorrow. Oh, of tomorrow. Yes, the occasion of But if you want to go with me around the neighborhood, let me know. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.